This is Marvel Universe Punisher, or the 2012 Punisher. The figure is part of the second wave of the 2012 Marvel Universe figure, or, seri or Series 4. Yeah, 2012 is Series 4. This is figure number 013, or the MODOK wave. Collect them all and put them all in little yellow jumpsuits, each sold separately. Haha. <laughs> Here is the rest of the assortment. For those of you who are still wondering, uh, Wave 1 is uh, features the, the new Hulk mold, mold Craven, Beast, Spider-Man. And then Wave 2 has these guys in this one. The Psylocke and Storm Wave with the Ages of Thunder Thor. They're part, they're listed at least, uh, as far as I know. They're listed as part of the Wave 6 for 2011. So just to get that confusion, so just to get that confused, so that nobody gets confused with that. Um, I hope that settles all the confusion from my previous review of the Hulk. So anyway, here is the figure. You see that artwork right there? I forgot who did this again. Is this still... Um, I forgot who made um, Wave 2's uh, artwork. It's not McGinnis, it's somebody else. Um, not Quapel. Somebody tell me in the comment section below who did it. But anyway, so here he is. Let me just try and focus, focus. Okay, here is Frank Castle, Punisher, the most updated, most comic book accurate um, figure from the Marvel Universe line to date. I don't have the very first Punisher made and the revised Punisher uh, uh, for uh, the Marvel Universe line because I was never really a big fan of the comic books. I love the movies. No, just one movie. The um, I just like the Thomas Jane movie. Uh, that was pretty cool. And I never really read up on the comic books uh, for for this guy, and um, that's why I never bought the action figures. Um, I did have the Jim Lee um, Punisher, but I ended up selling that one because I was just really interested with the with the other figure <laughs> uh, that came with it. Um, the uh, the ninja, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, um, so this is technically the only Punisher, Marvel Universe Punisher, I have. Uh, and I don't have anybody to compare it with. But um, I was on the fence on this one. Wasn't really sure if I was going to get it. I did pick it up. And then uh, I, I thought, you know, I was probably going to sell it. Didn't want to open it. But then I decided, yeah, what the heck. Let me open it up. And as it turns out, it is a pretty darn good figure. It uses the... Jim Lee Cyclops, um, Daredevil, Bullseye 2-pack uh, body mold. It's got a ball-jointed neck on a hinge. It's got a ball-jointed upper torso, ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, hinge elbow, hinge or swivel wrist. Does not have waist articulation. Doesn't matter. It's got a ball-jointed hip, thigh swivel. Oops. How'd that get fall, uh, fall off? Double-jointed knees. Uh, a calf swivel and ball hinge uh, ankles with the rocker rocker joints on the ankle. So a very very cool figure because of the new sculpt um, and and the way the details have been applied on him. He's got this really nice belt, has holsters for his pistols that extend up to his thighs. Um, they're they're good. They're well detailed. They're very good for the figure, but they also at the same time hinder articulation for the figure because they they're sort of strap the leg onto the waist. Um, pain, oh, he's got another one here. Um, I don't think you can remove it. Uh, or maybe you could if you force it out. It's a, um, a sheath for his uh, buck knife, oh, Rambo knife. He, uh, he comes with four accessories, I think. He's got this uh, machine gun. Um, He's got these two pistols. They're identical, uh, although albeit one holster is bigger than the other, I think. And he's got his Rambo knife right here. So very cool. Even the knife is painted. A little bit of silver right there. 
Uh, I, I, I do wish they would have given him more guns. I mean, he is the Punisher, after all. I wish they would have given him a rifle, a sniper rifle. Not a sniper rifle, a heavy machine gun. Uh, maybe a Gatling gun, I don't know. Uh, give him at least an M16, the one they keep putting with the Black Widow and uh, Mystique. Maybe they could have given him that. But, I mean, four gu three guns and a knife, I think, is not enough for the Punisher arsenal. So... You know, if you have some leftover weapons for from your G.I. Joes, maybe you can give it to this guy. Because I think he deserves a lot more. Maybe at least a rocket launcher or something like that. Uh, he does not come with a trench coat, unfortunately. Um, I would have wanted him to have a trench coat. Uh, but I guess that would be asking too much from Hasbro. I mean, they already got rid of the, uh, the, the base. They've added this ridiculous collectible comic shot. I mean, it's not even collectible. It's a piece of cardboard that they printed an old comic book cover on. Uh, so very nice. Uh, again, despite all the the, uh, the shortcomings of this figure, it is a very well-made figure. It's got some really nice detailing on him. Look at that chest. The skull, the skull is painted on very well. And uh, where the muscles, the grooves of the muscles are, they've actually added a wash and even on the gloves, to really highlight the uh, dimensions of this figure. I mean, it's a really, really nice figure. I mean, even if you're not a big fan of the Punisher like me, you're, you you cannot help but admire how much Hasbro has put a lot into this. Uh, and I think largely, in fact, due to David Vonner, who's really done a good job with the Marvel Universe. But now he's with um, Jazzwares. <laughs> so look out, Marvel. Look out, Hasbro. Anyway, so that's that. A very, very cool figure. If you're a big fan of the Marvel Universe uh, figures and toy line, big fan of the Punisher, definitely got to pick this guy up. Even if you're a casual collector, if you can see this figure on retail, definitely pick it up. A lot of collectors are after this. Um, some people are selling it for twice the amount on retail. I mean, ridiculous prices. I did pick this. I picked this up on retail, definitely. Um, not your conventional. I picked it up at a hobby shop in Green Hills. Uh, not too bad of a price. So there you go. If you like this video, folks, don't forget to click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Share it with your friends. Add it to your favorites. I post videos on YouTube uh, on FX Friends and Chefatron. I do. I also post some videos on Tech Sushi. Uh, there are several of us posting videos there. It's a great channel. Go check it out. Uh, toy hauls are uh, posted on keek.com slash fxfrans. Toy purchases and upcoming reviews are on twitter.com slash fxfrans. Toy sightings here in Manila are on Instagram at fxfrans. So there you go, folks. This has been the 2012 Marvel Universe Punisher. Thanks for watching.